So this follows on from plan drawing yesterday. Always start with a plan, allows us to put section cuts in which align with this section drawing. So we're doing AA, zoom in a little bit, same process as yesterday um, or certainly the previous vlog and we're going in in pencil and we're working down the page horizontals all the way down, mark them in, happy with any sort of crosshairs or overlaps when we're doing this. There's some little tricks later to have a look at in terms of kind of rounding off the chairs that you see in the uh, ground floor there. Doing the double check, lifting the, the tray, seeing what's actually happening, what we've missed. Enjoying the process, just a nice relaxing thing to do. Starting to move across and do the verticals. Much more straightforward this one than the than the plan really. Same matching, uh, same site, related section, not many curves at all, the light around the sort of radiuses of the, the chairs. Again, speed it up to, I don't know, eight times the speed. And probably a drawing that, I don't know, took maybe 45 minutes for the pencil work. And then another 45 to an hour to do the, the pens. So we've done all the lining in now. We're moving into, or lining in terms of pencil. We're now going to line in in terms of pen. So we're starting off with the point one again. All those thin lines. We've discussed the idea of depth and how we can give a two-dimensional drawn depth. And that we use the point one to start because if we do make a mistake, we can always go over it in a thicker pen. We can't do the reverse. Always checking against the, the plan that's been provided there. Fairly obvious thing to say, but this is obviously the third dimension, so the plan deals with those sort of... Um, those sort of elements that sit on the floor and then this gives us a suggestion of the height. Again not too much ink is going down with it being a point one so we move a little bit faster. We've got the set square um, almost the wrong way up so that actually the leading edge sits off the page and we don't get uh, ink bleeding under the ruler. You can see it's really quite methodical, we're sort of working in banks of information or banks of, of lines. Large number of point one thin line work on this one before we move into some point three, point five and point seven. Windows are drawn in the point one when we get to that stage because albeit there's a thickness to the window, we just want to give it that indication that it's light and transparent in the drawing. So what we can see there actually where I'm just cleaning that up with the scalpel is we've drawn that in a point three as opposed to the, the other display cases to the left which are in a point one. Um, and what that suggests is the, the heavier line display case is nearer to us in that section cut. Uh, equally when we're starting to go in with the, uh, the chairs in the foreground there, what I would suggest, so one, because they're point three, it suggests they're nearer to us. Uh, but what I would suggest in terms of technique is you do all of your radius first and then join the end points of the radius with the straight line rather than the other way around. It's a much more accurate and neater way of doing that. Yeah. 
Otherwise we're sort of thinking, right, well the staircase becomes almost a furniture item or a fixed furniture item. We've got some point three happening there. Forgotten elements just up there in a point one, so that will always happen. Got most of the internal elements happening before we get into showing the building uh, structure. And where it's weight bearing or load bearing, uh, we'll go in with a 0.7 pen towards the end. I always think these are just quite nice things to watch once they've been sped up and you can just, you know, see the drawing take place. Something that's quite time consuming happening at a at a really quick pace. So these are the point seven lines that are going in. So the heaviest lines of uh, that we that we're going to use here. And then we're going to move on as we did. On the previous vlog to just adding the title block in, not much new to say. Overlay, put the drawing back in place, go around the borders. If you were drawing this from scratch and putting the borders in place, they might be sort of 10, 12 mil in from the edge of the paper. As a reminder, that's a 0 0.3 pen. And then we draw in the title block in a 0.1. Again, trying to control the, the handwritten elements. Starting to rub out some of the lines. At this point we can tidy up some of the, the smudges or kind of crosshairs in terms of the pen work. A couple of forgotten elements. A little bit of scratching. End of vlog.